Hello, how y'all doing? I got the fan on to prevent me from sweating and itching, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about Senator Katrina Robertson of Tennessee. She's a state senator from Tennessee. Now, the federal government or the government of Tennessee has accused her of stealing or embezzling $600,000 from the government. Uh, this money was used as the, the allegation is to uh, finance her wedding, finance her divorce, buy uh, gifts for her children, uh, set up her children in businesses, okay? Uh, they say she bought a Jeep Renegade uh, for her child, home improvement, uh, and the snow cone business, uh, and Louis Vuitton bags. That's what the allegation is, what the government knows about anyway. Now, what is the problem here? What is the fundamental problem here? That number one, that despite her education, she is at heart a thief. At the very core of her being, she's a thief. Now, that's only, that's only the embezzlement that the government knew about. Uh, there is no telling what she has stolen from people over the years, if you go by what her resume says on Google, there's no telling how many people she has stolen from over the years, how many clients she has stolen from, how many elderly clients she has stolen from. She may have stolen some things in college. She probably cheated on a, on a few college exams. Uh, now, she is no different from the street hustlers that steal things from the uh, convenience stores or steal things from the stores like Macy's and whatever. She's no different than the street hustlers who do that. Number two, that's from what the problem is. She doesn't know how to manage money. Now, all the positions she's had over the years, she should have been able to save some money for her and her children over the years. She should have been able to save, you know, money for a business or whatever. She shouldn't have had to steal the money she's been working for a while, okay? She shouldn't have had to. She shouldn't have had to steal any money. She should have been able to save it for a number of years. Number three, she's pretending. She's pretending that she can afford. She, uh, this, she's pretending that she's someone that she isn't. Okay. Uh, she bought a Jeep Renegade. The allegation she bought. The allegation is she bought a Jeep Renegade for one of her children. Uh, see, she's pretending that she can afford a Jeep Renegade. She bought a Louis Vuitton handbag. She's pretending, okay, that she can afford anything. See, that's pretense. Okay, number four is that she doesn't understand money. Because like I said, she does not understand money or how to invest in it. Like I said, she should have been able to save money over those many year periods. She should have been able to invest money in maybe real estate or whatever. She doesn't understand money. She doesn't know what it is. Okay, so see, once you steal from the government, you're through. You're through. You're going to go to federal prison most of the time, but you're through. You're through. You're through with the job market, everything. Now, my mother uh, worked for the government. She worked as in Head Start. Okay, and my mother told me that she never stole anything. She never stole any government cheese, never stole any government butter. But she said there was a lady who did steal uh, regular, regular stealing uh, government cheese, government butter, because, you know, they give so much butter and cheese for the Head Start program, they probably figured those, that the government wouldn't even miss it. But the head of the whole program, Mother said the head of the whole program knew that she was stealing, but he just didn't say anything. So when this lady left and she wanted a recommendation, he did not give her a recommendation. Uh, but Katrina Robinson, is that her? Yeah, Katrina Robinson will do some jail time, federal prison for this crime. Now, see, what is she teaching her children? That if you want something, you steal from the government. You get it. You steal it. You can, But you get it. Okay? But once you embezzle money from the government, you through. Okay? She's teaching her children how to steal. Well, what do you do? You uh, set up a bogus government contract and you steal from the government. Now... I have an older sister, the oldest sister. She stole 95 to 98 percent of my mother's estate. And she has to say, what does that mean at her very core? Because what that means is that, number one, she's fundamentally a thief. 
We didn't know she was a thief. We thought she was honest. You know, she's working for the government. She's honest. But she's fundamentally a thief. Now, she stole uh, my mother's money. How much money did she steal from clients in that government job having access to their accounts and all? How much money did she steal from them? Because, see, this is a lifelong habit. Uh, you don't just up and go steal from the government. You don't just up and go steal from your mother. You've been stealing for years. Now, my elder sister taught her daughter how to steal. So you had uh, her daughter and her stealing from my mother. And when I went over my mother's finances with a fine tooth comb, uh, it, it was just horrible. She stole my mother's stock. She put her, she did things with my mother's account I didn't even know you could do. She put her name on my mother's checking account and just wrote checks. You know, the day I got custody, she took $7,000 from my mother's account. I got the receipts. But see, this is the life. We didn't know she was a thief. We thought she was honest. But she has the same problem that Katrina Robinson has. She's fundamentally a thief. Okay, f throughout... The whole life, her whole life, she's fundamentally a thief. That was probably not the first time she stole. It's not the first time Katrina Robinson stole. It's not the first time that my elder sister stole. Tina, I mean, my sister does not know how to manage money. Period. I mean, over the years, if she, uh, I remember, if she wanted something, she just charged it. Ski equipment, she just charged it. Okay, and she wants, she doesn't know how to, didn't know how to save money for to get what she wants. Number three, just like Katrina Roberts, she, she pretended that she's upper middle class. She pretended by all buying all these uh, pianos that she could not even play, couldn't even play the piano, bottle piano, okay? She's pretending that she has something, okay? Bought ski equipment and she can't ski. Bought expensive uh, coats and she lived in California, winter coats, okay? And number four, just like Karina, uh, Katrina Robinson, she doesn't understand money. She probably still doesn't understand money. That four quarters equals a dollar. Okay. Um, and on the day, on the day I got custody of my mother, she stole seven thousand dollars from my my mother's account. Okay. Straight, straight robbery. Okay. Uh, and then she, um, as she drove to L.A. She just kept spending on my mother's checking account. I got the receipts. But she had, see, these people are fundamental thieves. My elder sister is fundamentally a thief. Katrina Robertson is fundamentally a thief. That's what the problem is. But people who steal from the government, they're going to go to jail. They really are. They're going to go to jail. Okay, federal prison. Have a nice day.